Hello, my babies. How's everyone doing today? Honey, darlings, it is for raising here. Ooh, I got down to 29. It's cold. I couldn't find my toboggans, but I got my gloves. Miss Sharon Lewis sent me. Thank you, Miss Sharon. I love them. All right, today we're going to be doing six DIY Dollar Tree Christmas decorations. Okay? They're simple. They're easy. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let me tell you what, you know, what number one. It's going to be a paper plate snowman centerpiece. <laughs> and it's so cute. And then we're going to be doing a clothespin cross. Then we're going to be doing a wood cross with just jute. Then we're going to be doing a wood round snowman. Then we're going to be doing a Christmas candle holder. And then we're going to be doing a paint holder. You know, the little bottles of paint. Now, all this came from Dollar Tree Baby Dolls. So, if you want to make it, it's going to be easy. Because if it came from my Boone Dollar Tree, then I know where every Dollar Tree's got it. If mine does. Because mine hardly has anything. But anyway, babies, let's get started. Because I'm excited. All right, darlings. Alrighty, all you're going to need for this project is some paper plates of your choice, fall paper plates, Christmas paper plates, whatever kind of paper plates you want, and glue sticks and a glue gun. Now, I'm using my Surebond Cool Shot, okay, because I'm tired, I can't find my finger condoms, so I thought I'd go with this where I won't burn my fingers off. So anyway, let me get that out of the way. All right, now, you get your two paper plates. Get these out of the way. And you put them back to back. Now, I make sure that my snowman hat is even with my snowman hat on my other plate. Okay. Now, what you do, mash it down. Get your plate mashed down. And you're going to put them just like that. Okay? Double-sided. Now, I'm going to take some glue. Take my glue gun. Put me a little piece in here. Now, uh, this Cool Shot, baby, it bonds quick. I'm telling you. It's not like hot glue. You don't have a second to wiggle it around and all that. Because it really does what it's supposed to do quick. So you have to be pretty quick. And I'm make sure I got it even. Put me some more glue. Right. And I'm just going to go all the way around the plate. Okay. Sure. Got it even. And mash it together. You don't have to hold that glue. I'm telling you, it's something else. Now, if it's not even, if it don't come out even, babies, don't even stress it, okay? Don't even stress it, because you can take your scissors and just trim it. All right. Big deal. That's your plate. Make sure your plate's down. And then we're just going to give it, and I think that's going to be it. I think I'm good. I might put a little spit right here. Just a little one. bet you that. Now what you want to do is fold it. Okay? Just like this. Now I hold here and then I pull like this to get it all the way to the edge. Pull it. Alright? Now, you got your double sided plate. Okay? Now, when you open it, this one's going to be in, so you want it to poke out. Alright? This is going to be a pumpkin shaped centerpiece. Christmas centerpiece. Now, the next thing you're going to need, now I've already done this one. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You're going to need 
the cardboard out of your um, paper towel. Now you don't want to come all the way past this bottom and you want to leave it a little bit at the top. Okay? Now what you're going to do now is put your glue. I put it on my paper plate because it's just much easier, but you got to hurry because I'm telling you this glue sets up quick. Uh oh, I ran out. Don't matter. Now what I'm going to do is just stick this one right in the middle. Okay? Because I'm going to spread this plate out. And just hold it for just a second. Okay? And then you have your center piece. Okay? Now then, I'm going to come back around and I'm just going to take my plates. Now, so my cardboard won't, won't show. And I'm just going to put a spit of glue. Well, if I had some, I'd put a little spit. Now, you can use glitter glue sticks. You can use clear. You can use white. You can use whatever you want. All right. Now, I'm just going to stick these together just a little bit. Just so you won't see the paper towel thing. All right. Just a little spit in there. That's all you're going to need. That one's already done. Okay. Now then. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to varnish. Now you can close them. If you want them closed, close them up. You can have your plates closed. I like mine open. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty open. But if you want it closed, you can close it. However you want it. Alright, now then. I'm going to take some varnish. And I'm just going to varnish this. Now you see where you see that? We're going to put some glue right there. And we're going to stick it together. Just like that. I'm going to put some right here. And put that together. And that way it'll just be secure around your paper towel roll. Okay? Alright. Now then. That's going to be about it. Mash this together. Hold that for a second, y'all. And there you go. There you go. Now, let me get the varnish, and I'll be right back. All right, darlings, we have our paper plates on our paper towel holder. Okay? Now, I want to rustic that up. So, I'm going to be using some metallic gilding polish. Mm -hmm. And it has this handy-dandy sponge. How handy is that? I'm going to just get a little bit. Don't take much. And I'm going to rub it on my stem. Ooh, ain't that pretty? It's a pretty gold. Rub it all around this stem of this pumpkin. Okay. Wouldn't it be pretty as a fall pumpkin? Oh, wow. That would be pretty. Okay. Get it all covered up, and then we're going to cover up this top of this uh, pumpkin. Right? So you can't see the top of the paper plate. I hope I'm explaining this right. I, I really hope so. I hope I am. Alright, now then, we're going to take some of this from the Dollar Tree, and it is called it's Crafter Square Spanish Moss. Alright? We're going to get a little bit of that. And we're just going to hot glue. Or glue, because I'm not using hot, hot glue. If I can get it out. Alright. And I'm going to put some glue around. Now, I should be using hot glue, because this probably is going to cool before I get around it. So, I'm just going to do a little bit and put this around it. That way, you won't see the top. Of your paper plates. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that is so cute to me. Alright, let's get another little little bunch. I should have already had it tore out, but I didn't. And we're just gonna glue and glue and glue all the way around. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. That looks like a little bird's nest, does it not? That's so 
doggone cute. Now, I'm going to leave it wild. I want it wild. I want it wild looking. All right? What a mess. Okay. Wow, it spans. All righty. I have this garland from the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm going to cut me some little sprigs and stick off in there. So, now I'm going to stick some hot glue right there. And I'm going right down in that moss. All right. And there we are. One curly cube. One curly cube. Now we're going to get the rest. I'm just going to do it around my finger like that. Just like that. Just make it all crazy curly. All right. And we're going to come over here. I'm going to put a little down in here. This is just an easy, peasy project. On the budget. Right? On the budget, babies. I'm liking that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I might need to calm this down just a hair. There we go. Just a little hair. There we are. Okay. Go with that now. If you want more, put more. Okay. I'm just going to leave two. I may put some more. I don't know. All right. Now, then, I have this pick. That I got from Dollar Tree. Okay. Now I'm going to take these flower. I want one flower. Now let me get that cut off. Alrighty. Now then. We're going to find us a spot. Let me see what side I like best. This one. Alright. Now I'm going to just poke that. Put hot glue. And poke that flower. Right down in there. So to be Christmas set babies. Mm -hmm. So let's get us a little glue on here. I left the stem kind of long because I wanted it to go down in there. Alright. I'm going to just poke that right down in them paper plates. Okay. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that not the cutest dog on thing? Alright, now i got some of it. Look at here. Here's some pine cones. Let's go for it, babies. Go for it. Why not? They're little Christmassy pine cones. Aren't they just adorable? Now I'm going to put one right in there. Oh my goodness. That's just so cute. Just put some glue on the bottom. And I'm just going to poke it in. Just poke it in there. Alright. Hold it for just a second. Then look here. It's got the little green. So let's get us a little green off of there. I hear a door shutting. Now let me turn it around so I can see what I'm doing here. Now I want this to hang just like that. I want it to hang down. I'm going to put one over there. Okay. Oh, girly. Somebody is outside. I'm going to put that right in there. Look at that. Goodness gracious, alive. My goodness gracious. All oh, from the Dollar Tree babies. Can't beat it with a stick. All right, now then, let me get one more little pine. And I'm going to put it on the other side. Try not to cut my flower here. Because I'm going to use it in another project. And I'm going to just, just put a lot of glue on there. And I'm sticking it in. Sticking it in, babies. Right there. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Is that not the cutest dog on thing? Now you can fix your little stems. That's it. DIY one. And you know what? I'm going to set it on my kitchen counter. And I may put a couple of wooden spoons in the paper towel thing. But there you are, darlings. DIY 1, babies. Here comes DIY 2. Alright, second DIY. You're going to need clothespins. Dollar Tree. Okay. Alright, you're going to want to take all your metal things out of your clothespins. Okay. Take them out. Now, I, this first time I've made this cross, and I'll let y'all know how many 
clothespins you're going to need once I get them all the metal took out. Okay? All right, I got all those off. Now, 54 comes in one pack. I don't know if I'm going to need that many. Like I say, I've never made it. But I am going to take my metallic gilding paste. And I'm going to uh, put some of this on it. Because I want, them, I want it stained. Okay? Now, you can paint it. You can paint it any color you want. Whatever color you want, babies. If you want it painted. You can do it red. You can do it... Oh my God, whatever color, whatever color you want, white, ooh, white would be pretty. So I'm just going to take a little time and I'm going to stain these clothespins up. All right, look at that. Now, is that not better? I think it's better. All right, I'll be back. All right, I got them all bronzed up. Ain't that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay, now what you want to do, you need 15 after you take your metal things out, you got to take those out, okay? You're going to want to glue them back together. I know, right? Just like that. Now, I got you in pretty close because I want you to see. Get your holes together. See that? And just glue it back together, all right? Now, I'm going to do one or two, and I'll just put a little spit right there. A spit and a spit. And probably one right there. I don't think the bottom touches anyway. All right, now we're going to get it right back on there. My God, that glue. It goes quick, babies. Yeah, just here, here, and here. Now you need 15. All right, babies. Got that. Now what you want to do, take your pen. Okay, take your another pen. And then we're going to glue this pen to this one. All right, now this little center hole here, you want this to line up with that center hole. All right, see that? See, the center hole. Okay, so let's get that glued on there. Just like that. Just like that. Now we're going to do one on this side. And we're going to line this one up with that center hole. Okay. Uh-oh. My big hands. I, I'm just heavy-handed. I'm telling y'all now. Heavy-handed, babies. Now, what is that? All right, you're going to have something like that. Okay, now we're going to take another one, and we're going to put it right in here. We're going to glue it right in there. All right, just like that. And it's going to look something like that. All right, so let's do that. And slide her in. Slide her in, babies. Okay. There you go. So far, so good. All right, darlings. Now we're going to take another one. And I'm going to try to hold it like this so y'all can see. I'm Take another one, and we're going to glue it right here on the top of this one. And we're going to do another one on this side. Okay. And there we go. Now we're going to put another one on this side. Just like that. Okay. <coughs> now let me turn it around. Make sure I ain't messed up nothing. Oh yeah. That's good. That's good. Now then. Here we go. We're going to take this one. And we're going to glue it to here. All right. Then we're going to take another one, and we're going to glue it to there. Okay. Easy pay. Put where you think your little thing is. So it will just line it up with that. Edge to edge, you see. Just 
just like that. Uh oh. There we go. There we are. Okay, we got that now. I'll move it down. Now then, we're going to take one and we're going to come to this little hole, the middle hole. And we're going to lay this one. I'm going to have to turn it around. We're going to lay this one like this. And I'm going to put it right here where this hole is. I'm going to line it up with that hole. Okay? There we go. Got that. Now we're going to put one on the other side. Oh no. Oh no, glue. All right, come back. We're going to line it up with this hole. Just like that. Okay, you're going to take two more. You're going to take these and you're going to make it match with these, okay? Now I'm just going to eyeball. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to pull it back until it is even with this one. Alright? Then I'm going to glue it down. Now I'm going to do the same with this one. And there we are. There we are. So let's glue it. Let's glue it, baby. I'm going to have to start using, uh, I should have used hot glue, or should have used. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to get this one. Mm -hmm. We're going to make that even with that one down there, and push it in. Be very careful. My, I'm very heavy handed. And there you are. All right, now, we're going to move on up. Got three left, okay? So, here we go. We're going to take this one, and we're going to stand it up, and we're going to put it right here on the tip of that. Then we're going to take this one, and we're going to put it on the tip of that, okay? On the tippers. So, I'm going to put a little bit here and a little bit here. And just stand it up right even with the edge and hope I don't glue it to my paper <laughs> oh crap wouldn't that be something <laughs> oh I wouldn't put it past me honey all right now then we're going to stick this one here and just hold it I'm gonna hold it for just a second because it don't take long okay now we're going to take this one the last one, and we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to put it even with these holes here. Let me get it in there. Just like that. Just like that. Now, do y'all see what's in the middle? <gasps> Look at that. It's a cross, baby dolls. It's a cross. Let me see if I can turn it around so y'all can see it. <gasps> Look at that, babies. All right, now, let's get this glued in. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and a little bit here and hope it don't dry before I get this one in. And I'm pushing it down, okay? Even with these little holes here, all right? Okay. There we are. There we are with our cross. Now, I'm not done, baby dolls. I'm going to stuck it to the paper. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not the prettiest? All right, now then, honeys. We finna do some wings on it. What did you say? Want to pay? What did you say? Oh, yeah, we are. Now, we're gonna take the little half ones here. All right? And we're gonna take, we're gonna turn them like this. Flat side up, okay? Now, we're gonna put this one right up against that one. 
just like that and glue it all right so let's do that maybe a little line there i'm gonna put it right up in there just like that okay remember flat side up okay that's good all right now we're gonna take our next one flat side up and we're gonna put it on here but we're gonna move it over just a little bit okay so just probably like that hole here at an angle okay just like that you see and I'm gonna spread it just a little bit just like that I'm just gonna glue this part to there now you see how it's open here that's what we want okay I may go in just a little bit more just a little let's go in a little bit more maybe put our holes even that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking let's put our little holes even that way it'd be easier to figure out where we're supposed to lay it now I'm I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that's gonna be right so let's just get our little holes there we go okay then we're going to go to our next one. And then we're going to do the same thing. Get our little holes. Hole, hole, okay. And we're going to glue that one down. And there we are. All right. We're just going to keep, I'm gonna keep on going until I get through, okay? it is DIY number two how do y'all like it now y'all can embellish it if you want to however you want to embellish it if you don't want to if you want it just like this just leave it just like that easy P is that not the prettiest I love it I really love it I think it's so pretty I'm gonna try to lay it like this ain't that gorgeous I love it all right darlings DIY number four Number three, my God. <laughs> All right, babies, for this DIY, you're gonna need a piece of wood, some white paint. Well, any color paint you want, and you paint it in the color you want. I'm using titanium white and buff titanium, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my paint on and then wipe it off with a baby wipe because I want it thin. I want you to be able to see a little bit of the wood. You know, if I don't get heavy handed, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to put me a little, just a little tip. And you're going to need some uh, jute. Okay. And a nail. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's just get it on. Get it on. I'm going to scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. Now, before it dries, I'm gonna give it a wipe. See if it works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You know what? I might can just spread it with the paper wipe. So put the put a little glock on there. See what we get. Just spread it with the paper wipe. And if it's too much, I'm gonna wipe it off. Mm -hmm. Give it another little wipe. Just like that. That's it. That's all I want. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. All right. I'm going to take buff titanium. And I'm going to do me some little lines like this. Okay. That's going to be it, babies. And I might use this little brush. Because it's got a little bit of that uh, metallic gold in it. So I might just use a little bit of that. Lord have mercy. I hadn't used this paint in a while, you can tell. All right, get out. Get out of here now. Okay. 
Now here we go. Just a slight, slight different color. I'm just going to pull it in like this. Hope y'all can tell the difference. Just like that. Now I did a cross on my, I have um, a live every Thursday. Now I may have to change it to another day because my daughter, my youngest daughter that lives with me, she got a job, and she's, that, which is a blessing, but she's going to be working 4 to 12, honeys. So I'm going to have to be helping the children with the homework, getting them baths, getting them in the bed, and oh, God, all that. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to work out my lives on Thursday. But we shall see. We shall see. I may have to just change the time from 7 to 8. Because they go to bed at 8. All right, that's it on that. That's it. Okay, now then, let me wipe my brush because I don't want it to get hard on me. Let that dry. Okay, and I'll be back. All right, babies, I'm going to take my gilding paste, and I'm just going to try and darken my edges just a little. I want them dark. Not dark, dark, but I want them a little dark. I want you to be able to tell the difference. So I'm just going to take my finger and rub it on, okay, just to get it blended in. See how it just makes that edge dark? I like it. I like it. Now I'm going to come across here. Get this. All right. Just makes it look like aged wood. I'm going to rub this. All righty. Then we're going to come across the top. And get that across. Now, honey, you ain't got a... Uh, be fussing over it. Just put it on however you want it. Rub it with your finger and that's just it. That's it, babies. Okay, now then we're going to take our jute and we're going to wrap it. Now on the back I'm going to hot glue this down. I'm going to glue it down with my cool shot. Okay. Get me a good glob on there. So it'll hold it down. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Now then, I'm going to start wrapping. I'm going to hold that because that's not dry yet. And I'm just going to wrap this away. Okay? Right in the middle. Now then, we're going to start, I'm going to put a little glue, put a little glue just to hold it in place, because I don't want it moving. don't want it moving on my babies. Spread it out. Pull that tight. That way it'll hold it. Okay? Now then, I'm going to come where my glue is sitting. See, that's not even hot. I love this uh, glue gun. All right, now, let me get it back here so y'all can see. I'm going to hold it just like this, okay? Just like that. Then I'm going to start wrapping in the middle. I'm going to come up just a little bit. Now, we're going to come back here. We're going to give it a little bit more glue, okay? Just to hold that in place, and then I can cut it. Right. I'm going to spread that out. Okay. Don't you get in there. Give it a little spread. All right. That's good. I'm going to let it sit there for just a minute. And I'm going to cut it. Okay. Now then, what I want in the front is I want it gathered, kind of. In the middle. Okay. I pray 
gracious. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take our nail, and we're just going to slide it in. We're going to slide it right in there. And y'all know what that stands for. Jesus was nailed to the cross. And that's it, babies. That is it. That is the end of that. Wood cross. Easy. Is it not? All right, baby dolls. Now we're going on to DIY four. Okay. All right, babies. For number four DIY, you're going to need some of these little hats from the Dollar Tree. Now, I took my those little orange things off, and I painted mine black. See that? I know you see it all over my hands. I'm a messy crafter. Then I cut me a piece of ribbon because I'm going to put that around my hat. Ain't that just cute? Oh, my God. And I'm going to hot glue that down on this little hat. I can get it going over here. Put me some right there. Then I'm just going to wrap that around it. Pull it tight. Now this is wired. I got it from the Dollar Tree. Okay. There's some pretty ribbon. I love this glue gun. It's not hot. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not sweet? Just the cutest. And this is the ribbon. Ain't that pretty? Dollar Tree. Alrighty. Now then, you need three wood rounds. Okay? Now, mine's got the little holes in it. That's fine. That is fine. You're going to need some paint to paint his little face. Okay? And then, let's get started. Let me get me a... It's getting a little chilly out here now. It's a 617. The temperature is starting to drop a little bit. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to paint my wood rounds, okay? I wasn't going to paint them. And I was like, yeah, because I want to put some, well, crap. Titanium white paint is what I'm using. And I'm going to put a little bit on all of them. Now, I don't need much, just enough to cover it, okay? Take my little brush here. And we're just going to paint them up. All right, now then, you're going to need a little piece of jute, okay? So I'm just going to cut me a little piece. And I'm going to stick it through here, I hope. There we go. Now this is going to be the base. And now we're going to come through the back of this hole. All right, we're going to pull it through the front of this one, all right? Now then, we're going to make this even. We're going to put them head to rump. That's what I call it. Head to rump. This is going to be the top of the snowman. This is going to be the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to tie a knot. There we go. Now you can just leave it white, baby dolls. You don't have to put any glitter on it unless you want to. If you want to, by all means, glitter it up. Because I think it'd be pretty. So, there we go with that. Now, you want to take your glue gun and you want to glue your rounds so they won't be flaying around. Okay? So, I'm just going to put a little glue on that side and hold it like I want it until it sets. And then I'm going to squirt some on the other side and just a little bit on the back. Now, you can take a popsicle, popsicle, a popsicle stick and stick on the back. Oh, you have to cut it, like, short. Or a little piece of paper or whatever you want to do, honey. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit right there. And that's going to hold that, okay? Come across the back here. There we are. Done and done. And there's our little snowman, okay? Now, let me give it a little wipe. Get my fingerprints off of there. All right, darlings. There we are. Now, then, we're going to take this. And we're going to hot glue it to this base. All right. 
so I'm going to put it where I want it, and I think I want it like that. Now, I'm leaving the edges um, the natural wood. Now, it's going to stand on this base just like that. Ain't that cute? Oh, my God. All right, let's get that put on there. Now, you're just going to need a little bit until you get it on, okay? I'm going to try to stand it right in the middle of this base. And then I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to come in the back at the bottom and put a strip of glue just to, you know, keep it in, keep it stationary. All right. And I've got that. Now let's just see how stationary it is. Oh, well, kind of stationary. I think my glue is... Uh, I don't think my glue is uh, dry. Now, I'm going to hold that right there. And I'm going to reach over here and get me one of these little bitty sticks. And I'm going to put it right in that glue. And put it right on the back of this snowman. Okay, I'll show you just a minute. Now, I'm going to cut this off. Now then, finally got it cut. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to put a strip of glue. Just like that. And I'm going to put it right here. Just to keep this straight and standing tall. Okay. Now, there we are. Oh, yeah. There we are. <laughs> Dear God. Come on, fart head. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> God. Good loud. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Maybe that's it. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, that's it. And there's our little snowman. Okay? <laughs> Don't do what I do, baby. Put enough glue. Okay? Now then, let's put our little hat on. Let's see where we want this little cute little hat. Look at that. Is that not going to be the sweetest little snowman you ever saw in your life? Just cute. Now, I'm going to see where it hits. And I'm going to put it right there. All right. I'm going to put it right here where this wood has come off. Okay. And I'm going to put it just like that. Right on his little head. Kind of to the side. Now, let's see what that looks like. Oh! Oh, oh, my goodness. Ain't that the cutest doggone thing? I think it's so cute. Y'all, I got one heck of a mess going over here. Y'all think I'm telling a story, don't you? All right, now we're finna paint his little face. Okay? Now, that's just gonna be easy pay. We're gonna put two little black dots for the eyes, and we're gonna put some dots for the mouth, and then we're gonna um put in my orange nose, which, that color. Okay? Now, I'm going to have to hold it up just a little bit, and I hope y'all can see. Now, I'm going to put a dot, and a dot, and I hope I don't make him cross-eyed looking. Now, I'm going to come down here, but first, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to put a dot. Now, I'm not connecting them. And make him a cute little smile. Look at that. Get him a little even. Now there's his little face. How sweet. How sweet, babies. All right, now we're going to do him a little nose. Okay. And I'm going to use this color because that's all I got. I didn't want to get out any more paint. I already looked like I've been to a paint war. So I'm just going to do... A little point like this. Okay. And then I'm going to come just like that. And I'm going to fill it in. And that's going to be his little nose. Okay. It might need to be a little bigger. I'm not doing it a little bigger. I think it's cute. So there we are with that. There's his little nose and his little face and all that. How sweet. How sweet is that? 
All right, now we gotta make him a scarf. So I found this red and white jute. See, I might see it better like that. All right, now I'm gonna start from the back. Okay, I think I just stuck my finger in his face, <gasps> in his mouth. Mm -hmm. I'll have to fix it. Okay, anyway, no biggie. There we go. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it right there. Okay. And hold it just for a minute. And then I'm going to wrap around his neck. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to make him a... Um, Scarf. Good Lord. All right. We're going to take us another piece. Put us a little bit of glue. We're going to lay this in it. And I'm going to hold it there just for a minute. Okay. And I did fix his little face, but I got to fix his mouth. <laughs> Leave it to me, huh? Okay, now then, what, how we're going to make his little scarf? We're going to come over here, and I'm going to go down to this side, okay? And then we're going to wrap. All right, now what we're going to do, here comes the magic. We're going to take our scissors. We're going to slide it under this ribbon, okay? And we're going to cut it. Okay, now you want to put a little glue right here in this corner. Just like that. Bring your scarf around and hold it down. Hold it right there in that glue. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put it a little bit right up under here because I want it to lay flat. Just like that. Look at that. Ah! Oh, is it not the cutest? Is it not? There you go. There you go. Now this back here, you can cut it off. You, know, you don't need it. There you go. And there's your little snowman, babies. And it's just the prettiest thing? Look at it. With this little hat. I think it's adorable. All right, baby dolls. That was easy pay, wasn't it? So there's your wood round snowman. I think it is so cute. If I hadn't messed up its mouth. But y'all, I'll paint over it when it dries. And I'll put him another dot mouth. But just to show y'all how cute it is. Now you can take some false snow. That's fake snow. And put you some Mod Podge and sprinkle it down there at the bottom. And it'll look like he's got snow under his bottom there. Be cute, won't it? I think it's adorable. All right, baby dolls. DIY number five. All right, for DIY number five, you're going to need two of these from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some ribbon. So I've got some red check it. And I've got this Christmas ribbon. Ain't that pretty? Then you're going to need some jute. You're going to need a glue gun, of course. And you're going to need some picks. Now, I have this one with the um, pine cones on it. And I have this one. Now, I'm just going to be using some of the greenery off of this. And then this one. Okay? All right, darlings. Let's get started. Now, I've already cut my ribbon from a red one. But all you do is you put it around your glass and move some of this stuff. Put it around your glass and measure what you need right in the middle. You want it in the middle of your glass, okay? I did try to clean my hands just a little bit. I'm sorry, but they're so dirty. Just put it right in the middle, okay? Leave it a little bit at the bottom, a little bit at the top. All right, now then, let's get with it. I'm gonna lay my glass down that way I can look through there and make sure that I have it in the middle, okay? Now I'm going to put my little bead of glue. 
and hold that down. Alright? Now, this comes in handy if you want to just push it. But like I say, this uh, Cool Shot Blue, baby, it don't take but a minute. Alright, now we're going to bring this over. And we're going to put us some more glue. Like quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay, let me get it back in the middle, Lord. Let him move it. There we go. Just going to push it down. All right, there you are. Look, that was just easy, wasn't it? Just easy peasy. Move it around a little bit. Okay. Now then, we're going to take our jute, okay? And we're going to wrap it around our jar. Candle holder. Sorry. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put this right here. Well, I'm going to go about like that. Let's do it about like that. And then wrap it. So, put me a little, little bit of glue. And my little thing, I don't know what I did with it. Let's get that out of the way. Here it is. I'm just going to spread it. There you go. Alright. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to wrap. Wrap it until your eyes is happy. should do it babies now what we're gonna do is take this that we had hanging off and we're gonna tie it now let's cut this piece this piece here thank god thank goodness I looked I already cut the wrong piece and we're gonna tie us a bow right here in the middle now then, there we go. Now we're just going to make us a bow. And there's that. There's that. Easy peas. Easy peasy, baby. There you are. Cut your little strings if you want. I'm going to cut mine just a little. Because I don't want it hanging that far. Just a little. Yeah, oh, just a little bow. Pull it just a little bit. There we go. Now then, there we are. Okay, now then, we're going to take some of our little picks. Okay, now, I love this one. That one is pretty to me. Looks like pine needles. So, I'm going to try to get me just a little piece off of there. If I can, I may have to go to another pick. Now, we don't want it too big. So, I'm just going to go right in there. Oh, so I'm going to hold it like this, okay, and try and get it right in there. Now, you see that? Oh, my goodness. Lord, help us all. Now, then, I'm going to leave that alone, and I'm going to get me one of these pine cones. All right. Get one of these little pine cones. If I... And I'm going to cut me off a piece. All right, now I'm going to put some glue on here. Now, I may have the stem too long. If I do, I'll just cut it. Now, I want to go right in here with this pine cone. I want it right beside this. Uh, oh, my God. Look at that. Look. Ain't that just the cutest? I think it's adorable. I think it's just freaking adorable. That is just too pretty. Now then, I think I'm, I want me a little, little bit of berry. Maybe. Let me see. Let me see what this one's got. Now this one is a little bit littler. So I can just cut me off a little piece off of this top, you see. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, let's see where I want it. I think I want it stuck right there. 
Yep. That's where I want it. Put it wherever you want it, babies. All right. Wherever you want it. I'm putting mine right there. Hold it just a minute. And there it is. Easy peasy little bitty. Cute. Is that not cute? I even like the big old pine cone. I like it. There's our little DIY Christmas candle holder. Easy B. Wouldn't that be cute sitting on a table? Now, you know i got to make two of these same color. Okay. Now, let's get to the next one. We're going to do this one in this pretty color. That is so pretty. And we're going to be using the silver on it. I think I want a silver ball or something. Something on there. Now, I'm just going to go ahead. Look, everything just going everywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and put me a little bead of glue. Hold it down. And then I'm going to roll it. Oh, that's so pretty. I make things harder for myself, you see. And I'm just going to cut it. Got that. And I got one heck of a mess, too. Make sure it's even. Even Steven. Now, I'm going to glue this down. That is so stinking pretty. It's got gold glitter in it. It is so pretty, guys. I'm going to pull it tight. And I went a little short, but that's okay. All right. Now, look at that. Ain't that pretty? You see the different colors in the ribbon? Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty, babies. Now, you can do it on this side where, you, where I did it too short. And just cover that up if you want to. Or you can just lay you another piece of ribbon on it. And that's what I'm going to do because I want this front. Now then, I'm get my garbage out of the way. Okay, now, let's get us a little green. Just a little, just a little piece. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm going to glue it this time. And then wrap the jute around it. I think that would be better. I'm going to put it kind of right there. And I'm just going to hold it. Put a little bit more. Alright. Now I'm going to wrap my jute. Okay. Now I'm going to start back here on the back. Right here. And then I'm going to wrap around this. See? I'm going to wrap around it. I want to go under the green, though. And that's going to give it a little bit more stability. You know what I mean? <gasps> I forgot to leave my doggone thingy dang. Well, you know what? We just won't do a bow on this one. We'll just do a Christmas ball. How about that? We'll do this one different. All right. Now I'm back to the back. Give it a little spit of glue. And then I'm going to cut this jute. We're done. Done with the jute. Now there's our little green hanging down. <laughs> hanging down, babies. Now, I'm going to take this little silver ball. Is that not the cutest thing? And I'm going to cut it off of this. All right, now. Where'd you go, honey? Here it is. I got it. I got it. Now, I want to make this one silver. Now, I'm going to stick this up here on this end. So, it will go right at the top of that. Okay? Now, then, we're going to go in. We're going to get these pretty balls. 
whatever they're called, berries, whatever they're called. I'm going to get these. Mm. If I can get them. I don't know if that's going to fit under my rib, under my jute, but we'll see. It might, and it might not. Oh, that is so cute. But I don't know. Maybe under this. Like that. God bless it. That's so cute. It needs something else, though, I think. But I'm trying to make it easy, so I'm just going to do it as easy as I can. Easy as I can, babies. I'm going to mash this down on it just a little bit. Okay. Now, there we are. There we go. How about that? Hey, you can put your little acorn right here. Look here. I mean, a pine cone. What am I talking about, acorn? I'm just going to cut this off because that's just too much stem. Okay. I'm going to put glue on it. And I'm going to stick it right there. And I'm just going to hold it. And that's it. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Ain't that cute? Put your little candle in it. Now, i got to cover this up, of course. But all i got to do is cut another little piece of ribbon and just glue it on there. And it'd be the cutest thing you've ever seen. Now, ain't that pretty? Now, y'all let me know which one you like the best. Or do you like any of them? <laughs> oh, oh, God. You might not like none of them. All right, that's that one. That's that one, babies. I got a lot of cleaning to do before I go in. I am not coming back to the shed with it looking like this. All right, let's get everything out of the way. And we are fixing to do the last DIY. All right, be right back. All right, what you're going to need for DIY 5, let me raise you up just a little bit, is... Two paper towel holders, Dollar Tree, okay, and four napkin rings, napkin holders, all right, four, okay, and you're going to need some zip ties at the Dollar Tree, babies, everything is at the Dollar Tree, all right, darlings, I don't know why in the two, I told you it's going to need two of these, you only need one, and zip ties, and four of the napkin holders, okay, now, you're going to stand this, stand your napkin hold, uh, paper towel holder up. Put the back side of your napkin holder on one side of it. And put you another one on the other side. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. It's going to look just like that. Okay? Now take your zip tie and go around the bottom. I'll show you just soon as I get get it stuck through there just a little bit. Now, before you loosen it, tighten it. I'm sorry. Before you tighten it all the way up, you want to make sure that it's even. Okay? Now, just make sure. Make sure it's even. And then tighten it. All right, babies. Now, you don't have to worry about your little thing sticking out. Okay? Now you just wrap it around all three, okay? Now it's not tight yet. I'm going to tighten it up once I get this one on. I have to feel of my uh, zip ties because I know the rough side goes through this thing down here. All right. And we're going to tighten this up at the bottom. And then I'm going to flip this around and give this a tighten. Okay. Now then. Now then. All right. And it's going to look like that. One on each side. All right. Now I'm going to come up here at the top. All right. And I'm going to do all three of these together. At the top. Now, this is going to be a paint holder. It's going to hold those little bottles of paint. All right. Now, you're going to flip it around. And you can do one on the other side. Now, I'm going to put one at the bottom just to hold it in place at the bottom. Okay. Pull the extra. 
extra tight. And you got that. See? It's not moving. See? I'll be darned. Look at that. I did something right. Finally. Now I'm going to cut these off because they distracting me. It don't take much. As y'all know, babies. Don't take much. Alright, we're getting that off. Okay, now then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put one on this side and one on the other side. And you're going to zip tie them. So I'm going to go ahead and get my zip tie through here. Because it's going to be kind of hard to hold it. Then we're going to put this one. Bring your zip tie through. And zip tie them all together. Let me show you what I'm doing. Just like this. You want them level. So I'm going to stand it back up because I want it level with the other one. I want it sitting right directly on the bottom one. Okay? Just like that. I'm going to give it a little tighten. There we go. That's going to pop it right on into place. Okay? Now we're going to go on the other side and we're going to put another zip tie. And that's going to hold that one. Gonna go through the three. Stick it through your zip tie and tighten it. Tighten it up, babies. And then you're gonna cut your little things off. And you know what? That's it. That's it. Now, if you want to, you can put one through here. I'm gonna put one through here. Let's go, yeah, let's go through here. I'm gonna stick it through this one. Because I don't want that sticking out. I'm going to put one at the top to hold this. And I don't think I put that on there right because I didn't hear it make that noise. Yeah, I didn't. So it needs to be flipped over. Just like that. Stick it in. Oh my goodness. We're supposed to have some warmer weather coming. So when it gets here... I'll be back to my resin because it's cold out here. It's cold in the shed, babies. Oh, Lord, but jeez. Now, I could take it in the house and put it in the hot water and all that. And then I thought about putting it on my less resin heat mat. About that. That's about all I can do with it anyway because it's lumpy. It's got a lump. So, I did do that one time and it worked great. All right, babies. There's your paint stand. Your paint stand. So let's get some paint in it and see what it looks like. Now here goes your little bottles of paint. All right. Now what you do is put it right there. Put it right on in. And it holds your bottles of paint. What in the whole mess? What are y'all talking about? Look at that. And honey, I have so much paint. I can, I can fill this whole thing up. But I just want to show y'all. I'm going to hold the back. See? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six bottles. Six. Six is 12. 12 and 12 is 24 bottles of paint that this uh, DIY paint stand can hold. How about that, darlings? Let me know how you like it. I think it's cute. And it's easy. And you can paint it. Whatever color you want if you don't want it to be this silver. But silver's fine with me. All right, now then, let's do a prayer card. And today it says, Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your message. Thank you, Jesus. Let's do the blessing board and the prayer board. Blessings for October, Miss Sharon Lewis and Miss Stacy Snorf. Uh, continue prayers for Miss Stacy and Miss Stacy's friend Rhonda, okay, and Miss Rhonda's family. Continue prayers for Mr. Jean, my daughter April, Miss Patricia Davis's son, Miss Brenda Levi. Oh, she said she was doing good now. Praise God. We can take her off the prayer board. That's always a blessing, ain't it, darlings? Miss Allison and her dad. And Miss Jacqueline Gill. 
All right, my loves. Y'all let me know how you like all my little DIYs. Just let me know what you think about them. And um, I'll have them all in the pictures. Okay? All right, sweet angels. Y'all sleep sweet. And I'm finna clean this mess up. Mm -hmm. I got one heck of a mess. I'm a messy crafter, ain't I? All right, babies. I love y'all. And thank you all for your support and your prayers for everyone and, and all your blessings. And using my affiliate links, y'all are just the best. Y'all are the best, darlings. I have the best YouTube family ever. And thank y'all for being a part of it. Thank y'all for being a part of my family. I appreciate it. All right, darlings. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye.